everybody, and welcome to Sunday Stamping with Susan and Julie, part two. Oh, it is Sunday. It is September 10th already. I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Other than thank you for tuning in. We're so happy you're joining us for these videos. Unfortunately, this week, our schedules just, we couldn't make it work with um, being able to be a part of each other's videos, you know, via phone or whatever. Um, Julie and her husband are moving their daughter back to school this weekend. So it's been crazy busy. Uh, we've had some problems with our 16 year old dog. Her health continues to um, worsen. So we've spent a lot of time with her this week and at the vet. Da, 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 da. Anyway, Besides all that, she's doing much better right now. I swear that dog has 20 lives. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to switch my camera to my desktop so we can talk a little bit and show you what we're doing this week. So let me do that. And I do that just about every time. Okay. There it is. So first I want to talk about World Card Making Day. This is a free event. Um, it, well, actually, it's I'm not sure who started this whole thing with World Card Making Day, but Stampin' Up! is uh, embraced it fully. And so they are offering a free, I don't want to call it a class, but I guess I will, um, for customers and demonstrators. It is Saturday, October 5th. So it's usually the first Saturday of October. And I always invite customers and my team um, to come on over and um, make cards and stamp. And then we just you know, do a little potluck thingy and just have some snacks and stuff to munch on. This year, the video, it will be, um, or the feed, whatever, is going to be from 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock Mountain Time, which is 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock Eastern Time. And um, so that's going to run into our dinner hour here. They're asking everybody to register just so they have an idea of who all is um, participating. And you'll get to have access to the video too. But you, it's not required that you do because there's no fee. So I think that's a lot of fun. Um, I'll share more details as I get them. But this is my offer to let me know if you want to come on over and we'll have some fun stamping and uh, eating. <laughs> uh, so that is what's going on um, in October. Free event. I love free. Free. All right. Let's move on to the um, mini catalog and open it to our, and I forgot to mark it again. We are using the nests of winter. All right. So nice, beautiful samples here. We actually were able to purchase this early because um, um, it was part of Creativity Now. And I registered for it. Julie and I both did. Uh, we were on vacation together when the event occurred. So we thought, well, we'll just do the projects later because we both had the suites. And uh, I didn't get mine done. I have some other samples to show you though. All right, let's look at the product here. Uh, this beautiful designer series paper. I, I, I love birds, first of all. We have feeders all over our yard, both front and back. Um, so we, we always put seed out. The colors in here are real red, copper clay, garden green, coastal cabana, crumb cake, and gray granite. And there's a lot to this sweep because in addition to the stamp set and the dies, there's a wood grain embossing folder, there's some um, linen thread, some embellishments. So a lot going on. So let's take a look at this a little bit more close up. And we'll start with the stamp set. Winterly Treetops is the name of the bundle. It's seven cling stamp sets, so red, red rubber. Um, three greetings, 
Sending thanks so much love. Thinking of you always. A friend like you brings me happiness. A pair of birds on a branch with some berries. A single bird. Um, the lonely bachelor. <laughs> a bow. And a little sprig of pussy willow. The dies. There's a set of nine dies. So in addition to die cutting out the birds and the bow and the little pussy willow, there's this cool frame that has um, has some like fir tree things. And then you get a couple extra branches there as well. So really, really a lot of fun. Here is the birch wood embossing folder. Um, I don't have another piece of paper to put under it so you can see, but this is the image that you will get that's embossed. So it's one of our the long ones. It also has this um, copper clay natural tones linen thread, copper clay night of navy and garden green. And I've used those on some projects that I'll show you a little bit later. And then these embellishments, and these are called Earth Tones Shimmer Dots. So it looks like we're going to get vanilla, garden green. I almost want to say this is more on the basic beige side. And copper clay. So they're nice and sparkly. I lost my little cello bag, so I'm going to put them in, keep them in here. All right. Let's look at the designer series paper. I'm not sure which side I have up, A or B. So I'm thinking, I don't know if this is dandelions or Queen Anne's Lace. I want to say they're dandelions. And you've got some birds kind of sprinkled throughout here. I'm showing you this in the full 12 by 12 just because I think this really kind of shows it best, if you will. A, a forest of birch trees, again, with birds in it. We have some pussy willows. And some birch wood. And so what I've done with this on a couple of occasions is I've like cut the piece I want and then I emboss it with the embossing folder just to kind of give it a little um, depth. Uh, this B side of this sheet looks like little bird's feet to me. So a nice neutral, great for a background. You could probably stamp on this as well. So this is, they've been doing this a lot with some of their packs where you've got um, an image along the bottom and then you can turn it over and you've got the same image there. You can just cut this down and cut segments and make cards out of it. So this is a beautiful green stripe, garden green and white. And a lot of these patterns aren't necessarily wintry or Christmas because you may have noticed in the, the stamp set there aren't any Christmas greetings in there. They're all pretty, um, I don't want to say neutral, but can be used for different occasions. This is probably the most winter uh, pattern that's in here, I think. <laughs> Birds and pine cones and the little branches with some holly on it. It's really lovely. Here's another kind of neutral um, in the coastal cabana. I think that's really pretty. And then some birds and these, the dies will cut, die cut some of these here. Let's look. So, yep, it cuts that one. And I believe it cuts the couple. So you've got a whole sheet of birds you can die cut and have it the ready. All right. I love the vibrant colors in this. Here's another sheet with birds. And the dies do not cut this out. Let's think. I don't think so, no. Nope, nope, doesn't. Won't even bother trying. And then I guess this could be snowflakes, right? And I believe I covered them all. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to move these things off and bring on the, the supplies to make my card. I 
and some stamps in. We're using black memento ink is our ink color. I have some blends. I'll just put those up here. And of course the gems that we're gonna use. So my card base is the gray granite and it's four and a quarter by 11. And I've scored it at one and three quarters and then seven and a quarter. So I don't know how well that's coming through on camera. And of course the measurements in the, that will be in the, um, just are in the description. Put that aside for a minute. Let's go through some other pieces I have here. Piece of basic white, four inches by five and a quarter, and that's for the inside. I have a piece of designer series paper, three and a quarter by three and three quarters. I have another piece that is one inch by four inches. And that's for the bottom inside. So I'll set that over there. I have another piece of that same designer series paper, one and a quarter inch by three and three quarter inches. And again, I don't know that you can see this on camera, but I've embossed this little piece just for a little bit of interest here. All right, so these two pieces will be matted on some real red. So three and a half by four inches for this piece and one and a half by four inches for this piece. So these will go here. I feel like I'm crooked. Okay, there we go. Um, I also punched a two and three eighths inch circle out of gray granite. And I have a three quarter inch by two and a half inch piece of basic white which I stamped the greeting on already. I have a piece to do some um, stamping and coloring. And this was, I just got that out extra for the greeting. So let's start with, let's just put these out and get that on our card base. Feels weird not doing this with Julie. Oof. <laughs> but we'll see each other on our own videos. So these are here. We'll take our card base and we're gonna fold this one up and fold this down. So it's just kind of a, um, kind of an alternate um, gatefold. So you wanna make sure you get nice, nice creases. And this will kind of stay popped up. It eventually um, will settle itself down if that makes any sense. Um, you can always turn that one back and then back again. That sometimes helps with the, the laying down, <laughs> if you will. All right, so this one is gonna go up here like so. Come back here. All right. And then this one will go on the bottom. And hopefully the weight of the cardstock will also help hold down the flaps. Yeah. Okay. All right, so there is our card front. Let's do some stamping right now as well. So I'm going to put this aside here, bring in our bird. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp our inside greeting 
which is a friend like you brings me happiness. Oh, I don't like the way that's stamped. Let's try it again. I need to re ink this bad boy. That's much better. It's a little crooked, but you'll get the idea. Well, this one inch strip is going to go along the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and put this on the inside of our card. As soon as I straighten it out. Okay. I hope you all had a great Labor Day. Ours was pretty quiet. And it would help if I didn't have it upside down. <laughs> Oh dear, I got a little little piece there. All right, so there is our inside. And now let's concentrate on our focal point. Done with this and this. And we're going to bring out our blends. So I'm using real red. Um, this one for the little tree branch <clears throat> is in our Naturals Blends collection, and so this is number 200. I have some, I think this is Pebbled Path, which I chose over the, the gray granite just to have a little bit of a contrast. And then I brought out the Color Lifter. I don't use this very much, but there's some um, great techniques I've seen that you can use to, to do some things. So... I'm going to actually start with my little tree branch down here. I'm using the bullet point. And this is a really small area. So sometimes in those really small little tight, I just put down some dots of color. And these, of course, dry a little bit lighter than um, as, it, as it dries. I apologize. Okay, so I've got dark and I've got light, and I'm going to use the light on um, his body. So let me... get going here so i'm gonna go start from like right under his eye here where that shading line is and i'm gonna just come down and start filling it in again you've got some little tight spaces so i'll use some dots And I try to look at the designer series paper sometimes just to kind of follow along their colors. You can use different colors. Birds are so colorful anyway, especially the boy birds. And that's the reason they're so colorful is to attract the girls. Because, you know, boys need all the help they can get. <laughs> They're beautiful to look at. My husband and I just love watching them. All right. So once I've got that all filled in, <clears throat> I'm going to come back in with the color lifter. 
because I really wanted a lighter shade. Something just went flying. <laughs> Hope I didn't break the case. All right. So I'm going to take, I guess I can use the brush. And it, again, as this dries, you can see it doing its light, lightning, lightening of the color, not lightning. And I think I went over it twice. And this doesn't transfer ink. So it's not like a blender pen where you've got to um, get the color off. This doesn't. Okay, so I think that's good. I just wanted a much lighter real red. All right, so for the berries, I'm going to use the dark real red. Okay, now for our feathers, I'm going to use the light um, pebble path. And I'm going to do his feather on here. I could, you know, do some shading with the dark and the light, but I've just decided to just color it. And then part of his, his other wing is along this edge. All right, I'm also going to do the top of his head and the light. There is, no, I think I've got it. Okay. I'm using the dark for his beak and his feet. So we'll color in his little beak. And underneath, there's an underneath part of the beak. And then I'm going to do his feet. And this is really <laughs> not a lot of space to color his little feet and his toes. Okay. I'm happy with that. And then through the magic of television, I die cut already. So that piece is done. We're going to get this out of the way. And bring our card back in and our greeting and our circle. So let's put our bird. We're going to pop him up. So let's grab some large and small dimensionals. And I'm going to kind of put him up towards the top of the circle. And let's just put a couple of the minis on here. Maybe, maybe we want one on one of the berries, huh? Okay, that should do it. That's a lot of dimensional set here. How many do you have this suite? And do you like it? Since I love birds, I was, ooh, and I, and I kind of reminds me some of the designer series paper of the celebration paper we had last year with the birds. Come back. Okay. So I'm putting him up towards the top of the circle. 
And I'm going to I'm going to put this circle on here now. And I only am going to put some adhesive along the top because otherwise I'll be shutting or closing off the, the um, art and we won't be able to open it. So we're going to put this like right about there. So now we're going to add our thinking of you always right here. And so I'm actually just going to put a little bit of adhesive on this side and kind of tuck it there. If it's straight, that would be wonderful. <laughs> okay. All right. Time for some embellishments. We'll bring these out. I'm making a mess here. Stuff falling all over the place. All right. So I thought long and hard about this. I thought about using maybe some copper clay, but I just didn't appeal to me. So I am using these. They're more like the basic beige. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to go with. I did on my sample, so I'm just going to continue that. All right, so I'm going to put a little guy down here in this corner of the tag. And you could just stop there if you only wanted one, but, you know, uh, I'm the queen of bling, so I'm going to add. I'll add another one. Um, maybe, maybe up here. And then another little one. Along here. There is my finished card. But before I flip my camera, I want to show you some samples. So Julie was doing some filming. I was over um, shortly after we both got our suites. And um, well, she was busy, I was busy, and I made some samples for us using this. Uh, this one, is this a swap? No, okay. I wonder what happened to my bow. Hmm. I had a copper clay bow on this, but I'm not sure where it fell off to. So this one, I used that outer frame with some garden green. And I used that paper that looks like little bird's feet there. And I die cut this out of the designer series paper. So I was trying to kind of almost mimic that with this card. Just kind of following along those lines. So there is that one. And then um, this one, I brought out the country, I want to say country garden, country nests, did the birdhouse. And I used, I die cut it out of the that birch designer series paper and then ran that through the embossing folder. And I took one of the boughs and colored it, put a, a linen, green linen thread, colored the bird more neutral with some browns, copper clay, And then I put one gem on the perch. This card, that sheet that has uh, the top and the bottom that you can cut up, that's exactly what I did. I cut it up. Um, and then the birds had some red and blue, so that was what I went with. So this is Cherry Cobbler, card base, Knight of Navy that I tore along the edge, uh, the sending thanks and, and much love. And then I put some blue linen thread behind the greeting. So those are the samples that I made. Julie, um, I believe she's made at least some of the Creativity Now projects. So she's probably going to show them or has shown them on her video. So you could always see, um, see yeah. those projects as well. And I have one more swap that I got. And this is from Karen Snyder. And I'm going to open it because it's got a fun fold. So she has... She just, just took some basic white and embossed it with that embossing folder. 
put the bow in this corner and a bird over it. Use the lantern from another stamp set. Uh, again, she used some of that looks like smoky slate, also embossed, wishing you peace, joy, and light, and then a piece of the, the birds there. This is a beautiful card. I really do like it. The only thing it's missing maybe is a little more bling. <laughs> so thank you, Karen, for that. All right. I'm going to turn my camera back and give you one more look at my card. All right, here it is. Here it is. This is a better look. <laughs> well, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you do, please give it a thumbs, a thumbs up. Have a wonderful week, everybody. And until next Sunday, Stamping with Susan and Julie. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. Julie, love you. <laughs>